excuse me, you have the most elegant earrings I've seen. Like, are they uh, some sort of a cultural item? No, they're they, just Oh no, they just look so colorful. They jumped out. They jumped out so much that they had to like just try to like chat you up without. Oh. Ah. Well, so you're on your way somewhere. Yeah. I am too. Uh, are you going to the? What was it? Uh, the. I have a boyfriend. Oh. Sorry. Okay. Sure. Have a good day. Excuse me. Hi. It's gonna sound so out of the blue, but your style is just amazing. Like one of the best. Like super glittery. Like it, it just jumped out at me. Oh yeah. I know. Very. You, you see him standing around here somewhere. What? Are you uh, I'm waiting for someone? Someone, a boyfriend? No. Uh, a friend? Okay, cool. So, I'm with you. Let's just pass the time by having the most fun, spontaneous oh, there, conversation. There oh, 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 oh. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Well, have a good day. Have a good day. Excuse me. Hi. I'm sorry to surprise you, but you just had the most uh, bushy hair. Bushy. I love it. Like, <laughs> It's straight out of the 1980s. Yeah. I get the impression that you're in some. Uh, you seem dressed like be a character in some fantasy movie. Thanks. Are you? Are you an actress? Yeah, I'm like a kind of character in a fantasy movie. Yeah. I do some acting. And your British accent just makes it look like you're like a, a damsel in distress, like a princess, like a princess of Wales or. No. It's your birthday today. Ah, it's your birthday today. No, it's her birthday today. It's Oh, really? Really? It is, literally. Oh. She's dead, but yeah. Oh, she's dead. <laughs> it just got grim all of a sudden. You must be waiting around here for something. Yes, I'm waiting for my friend. Okay. Enjoying NYC so far? You have a, you're from uh, London? I live here. Ah, but you were born? It seems uh, yeah, Southern okay. English. And I gotta get get so I oh, have Bye. a good day. Have a good day. Bye. Um, so you're, you're interesting. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so well, I'll, I'll put it out to you guys first. What's, what's good, what's bad so far in his approach? I, I, dig, the way, I dig the way you walk up. Like, I like it. You, are, you seem genuinely interested in what you're doing. And you, seem, you seem like you're uh, I'm like enjoying yourself. Some, yeah, some of them uh, were like forced approaches. I wasn't really into them, but like, mm -hmm. approaches for the sake of going through the motions. I noticed my body language is a lot more jerky than I picture it to be. Mm -hmm. um, my voice is, seems very forced in a way. I'm trying to, um, like I'm, I'm, well, I often speak through a, like a judgmental filter about my own voice because like I've listened to recordings of myself and I did not like them. So uh, Lemon set sometimes have this like affectation to it. <coughs> Oh, okay. like and you're giving compliments to like me also mm -hmm. in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Not yeah. really polite, like afraid to offend. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, Interview mode like, again. Like afraid to offend, like really like polite, like oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. girl, not, like, like you, you. To be fair, you sound a little formal in general when you talk, which yeah. you probably could drop some of just in yeah. in life, yeah. right? You yeah. don't have to be so formal yeah. when you talk, yeah. um, but especially in these these pickups, you seem mm -hmm. very formal. Yeah. You seem as though you're trying to be Shakespeare while exactly. picking them up, exactly. I think. Exactly. And um, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it, 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 seems, it does seem a little put on. Yes. yes. Right? Um, so that, that's one. Um, <clears throat> two is, <clears throat> at the same time as it's put on, it also feels like you are going through the motions a little bit. Yeah. In the sense that you're saying the same things over yes. and over yeah. again and that kind of stuff, right? A lot of them, I wasn't really... Like when you approach a girl, but she doesn't really seem that attractive to you, mm -hmm. you feel like okay, so like she's not you know that interesting to me. So should I like when should I like you know persist or like I'm sure you've had situations <coughs> where you come across a girl you're not really into and you're not really sure what to do maybe mm -hmm. like no. Yeah, well I mean it, it's it's tough for you in in a sense right now because you're you're on camera so you don't want to like waste the set or this or that. In general, in that case, I just like, oh, hey, and have a nice day. Yeah. Hey, what's, oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were my friend, Marie. Anyway, listen. Yeah. Sorry to have bothered you. Have a nice like, day. She turns out to be like an old lady. Because she looked like nice from behind, but like you go up front, she's like yeah, 65. Yeah. And, like, so don't worry about that. That's, 
in, in terms of a learning game, that's not the biggest thing in the world. Mm -hmm. Just you know, mm -hmm. dismiss it, be on with it, etc. Mm -hmm. um, but for you, if you do decide to do the approach, mm -hmm. do it right. Yes. Because yes. going through the motions and doing approaches half-assed is only going to exactly. teach you one yeah. thing, which right. is the bad habit of going through yeah. the motions and doing it half-assed. And like okay? I've done so many half-assed <coughs> approaches that I habitually um, like develop a habit of mm -hmm. half-assing it so many times. And yeah. Like getting brushed off. And like I'm desensitized to like rejection. Like I have like no approach anxiety and no worry about rejection. Mm -hmm. Partially because I've done so many and I just didn't really care about how it went. Right. So one of my strengths here in day games is that I don't really have approach anxiety, but I let myself just like eject like so often. That yeah. You're you're not even actually engaging fully with the set. Mm -hmm. The way I would the metaphor I would give you is this. Mm -hmm. Um if you look at astronomy, right? You have planets, and then you have like, like, a, a, like take a sun and a planet, right? So the, the, the planet is orbiting around the sun, mm -hmm. and it's this nice, safe orbit, right? Mm -hmm. If it were to go too close, it would fall into the sun, yes. right? But it's in this nice, safe orbit where like, it's, it's just at the point of breaking off at every mm -hmm. moment. That's literally what an orbit is, right? Mm -hmm. It's like just could break off or could stay. <clears throat> you're orbiting yeah. the approaches. Even, yeah. as you're, oh, even as you're talking to them, you're not actually engaging. You're not actually coming inside yeah. the orbit. Yeah. You're just staying on the very outskirt, mm -hmm. putting on this little affected exactly. personality yeah. that if rejected, you didn't get rejected, the personality mm -hmm. got rejected. Yeah. And yeah, there's, no, there's no actual real engagement. Mm -hmm. There's no actual real risk. Mm -hmm. right? And even when you do get into the, um, the interaction, right? a couple of these were kind of like blow-offs and whatnot, right? Mm -hmm. That one, the, the girl with the, the blonde hair and the curls, she actually like, talked to you a bit, yeah. right? She actually engaged with you at least verbally, yeah. at least conversationally, yeah. right? And you just kept it on small talk, banter, random mm -hmm. shit. You yeah, never got yeah. to the point where like, hey, let's talk about us. Hey, let's talk about you, course, right? Yeah. You never actually came inside the orbit. Yeah. You never took that risk. Yeah. Does that make sense? So, um, but as long as, as long as you are orbiting, you're not giving yourself a chance to win, mm -hmm. exactly. right? And to be fair, you're giving her every reason to, because in order for the girl to respond positively to this, she has to actively engage with you. Because mm -hmm. you're just like right on the outskirt. And you, she has to like make the move towards you in order for it to work. Mm -hmm. I, your game should be such that she just has to be receptive to your mm -hmm. move for it to work. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Of course. All right, let's look at a couple more and see if we see the same trends. Excuse me. Hi. It's going to sound... Like right there. A couple of things. Right? excuse me, hi, is overly polite, right? There's yeah. nothing wrong with it, by the way. Mm -hmm. But there's a difference. When you say excuse me, you're like, excuse me, hi. I'm like, hey, excuse me, hi. Mm -hmm. Do you see the difference in voice yeah. and in yeah. intensity and in, yeah. like, yours is hard to not ignore. Mine is hard to ignore. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Okay. So number one. Number two, when you opened your behind her. Yeah, yeah. Right? The, the crowd was and then number three, when she started walking ahead of you, you just kind of like, oh, okay, fade into the distance instead of catching up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? So within, what was that, like a third of a second? Yeah. Three, three situations of not committing to the set within a third of a second. Of course. Right? So like when you approach, like really commit, mm -hmm. and like I have like a bad habit of ejecting, you know, I, I guess it's because um, uh, like when they first started, they just wanted to, you know, train themselves to like approach anyway, and mm -hmm. no matter how badly it turns out, and like at, when they get the first sign of like negativity eject, but like mm -hmm. I'm not really sure how yeah. long I should persist. So that's that's, that's of, a fine philosophy yeah. for overcoming approach anxiety. Mm -hmm. But yeah. then once you no longer have approach yeah. anxiety, that's no longer mm -hmm. teaching you exactly. anything. Right. Uh, another thing I mostly <laughs> practice game in like uh, college campuses or like mm -hmm. indoor public transit when they're like sitting sitting down and like not tower walking. Mm -hmm. uh, on that day, I. Uh, gaming in a situation where it was not really that used to like girls walking fast mm -hmm. in the square. Uh, right, so you have to be a little more assertive there exactly, than, than exactly. when they're sitting. I was too used to like you know, like slower environments mm -hmm. where they hook a lot more easily in those slower environments. Right. So when they then yeah. hook immediately I would just leave. Sure. Sort of. So random. But you look absolutely excuse me. Hi. Some come across as so random, but your outfit just looks amazing. I mm -hmm. had to like your outfit looks spectacular. I know it's super out of the blue, but I just had to give you a compliment because of that. Thank you. Um, okay, so here's a phrase for you, right? I make no apologies for my desires as a man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You say of course, but you also justify yourself five times in the first 
10 seconds <laughs> or less, okay? Right? I was just at a loss, someone right. like say. So here's the thing. Like, it's okay to talk to a girl. Yeah. It's okay to show intent toward a girl. Mm -hmm. It's okay to let her know you like mm -hmm. her. It's okay to get rejected. It's even okay to make a scene. Okay? okay? See that every morning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Because these kind of opens, you're not going to get hard rejections. Because mm -hmm. you can't hard reject something that's orbiting. Of course. Right? Of course. Okay. You need to do an approach that could get a hard rejection. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, I'm not saying you need to get a lot of hard rejections. You will occasionally get them. Mm -hmm. But you need to do the type of approach that could lead to a hard rejection every mm -hmm. once in a while. Mm -hmm. Right, because yeah. until you actually are, are making yourself subject to that, subjecting mm -hmm. yourself to that, that's the word I'm looking for, um, <clears throat> until you're actually subjecting yourself to a hard rejection, you're mm -hmm. not actually approaching. Of course, okay. Right? Or the character, if like, it's a kind of approach that can cause a hard rejection, mm -hmm. otherwise it doesn't count. I remember in this set, like, what was going through my mind is that when I came up close to her, she was like older than I mm -hmm. like, uh, predicted her to be, because mm -hmm. it's one of those sets where she looks attractive from a distance or from behind that she looked like like Asian 40, 45 and like, oh, like, she, like she's probably married and all of that. And at that point, it just like started like, you know, saying whatever like randomly came to mind going through the motions again. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess in that situation, they should still commit even if she isn't like that. There's two ways of looking at it. One way of looking at it is just leave immediately mm -hmm. and, and be on to the next. Mm -hmm. And that's fine. Mm -hmm as long as you quickly find one you actually like and when you find exactly. that one you commit, yeah, exactly. okay? And that's fine as long as you are committing. Mm -hmm. However, if you're not committing to the ones you like and not committing to the ones you don't like, yeah, yeah. then what I would tell you is keep looking for the ones you like, but even on the ones you don't like, by all means, you're free to go. Mm -hmm. But just for practice, yeah. game them properly until yeah. they like you, okay. and then you can go. At least get the practice, mm -hmm. at least get the reference. Yeah. Does that make sense? Like be engaging even like with women who that track so like even go for hard rejections even though you generally don't like them. First of all, really you're not first of all you're not going for a hard rejection. Let's let's be oh, yeah, clear about that, right? You're, you're doing like something that, could. that can lead to a hard rejection. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly, right? Wow. Um, and if you really wanted like if, if say that you open a girl and it turns out that she's older than you thought, yeah. You could like it would actually be relatively decent practice if you're like, okay, well my new objective is I am going to find out if she has attractive, like an attractive daughter or niece or something <laughs> yeah. like that. But at least the idea is to engage in a conversation with her, mm -hmm. right? Still engage because that's something to work on because you're you're getting blown out early. So exactly. just engaging yeah. is is a part of it, right? And the second one is just work on being generally charming and attractive. Yeah. Whether it's going to be directed at her, or directed at someone mm -hmm. else, or she has friends or whatever, yeah. um, work on those things. Get as many reps of of doing it right mm -hmm. as you can regardless of the girl's that hot, mm -hmm. right? Now, I'm, there's, there's different philosophies on this, right? My philosophy has always been you go after girls you find attractive and you, there are enough of them in the world, mm -hmm. push it and do yeah. it with them, right? Yeah. That said, there's an argument to be made for just doing it regardless, mm -hmm. right? Um, mm -hmm. If you look at Jeffy, when he learned, he approached everything and anything, didn't yeah. give a fuck if it was attractive that, exactly. that much, right? Yeah. And um, by doing that, he actually learned probably faster than just about anybody. Yeah. Right, because he got the reps yeah. over and over and over and over again. Like, right, and there's value in that too. Yeah. Well, right. I also noticed this is that uh, oh, when I approached her from, from behind, she, I am um, when I got in front of her and I saw that um, I saw that she was like sipping from a uh, cup, mm -hmm. and so she couldn't talk back because of that. So I was just, I was like taken aback by that, and I was like, if this saying, was a, if this was a friend of yours and you went and talked to yeah, them and they were sipping from a cup, what would you do? I'd wait until they stopped sipping. You stay silent, and when they. Um, or you'd be like, oh, sorry, I didn't realize your mouth was full. Take a minute. Yeah, yeah. What are you drinking? Totally fine. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, in a lot of these cases where it's a little weird or awkward mm -hmm. on the cold approach, the mm -hmm. answer is just that. It's like, mm -hmm. if they were your friend, what yeah. would you do? Yeah. Right? And if you just do that, you're going to be in good, sh good shape. Yeah. Okay? Um, so the big thing, though, for you is I want you to. Yes, granted, a couple of these girls were not as attractive as they could have been. Mm -hmm. Fair of enough, course, right? But what I really want you to do is commit and make fewer excuses, mm -hmm. in general. You're on your way to, uh, I'm uh, just on my way to meet someone around here, but uh, I'm sorry for like uh, interrupting you. You must be focusing on enjoying your coffee. Uh, I want to be like, I'll be on my way. All right, have a good day. Excuse me, hi. Sorry. I'm 
Excuse me. Hi. I'm so sorry for interrupting, but you had the most interesting tattoo. Oh, thank you. Like, is that supposed to represent liberty? It looks like the Statue of Liberty. So. Uh, no, it's Medea. It's a Greek Medea. tattoo. Oh, oh like, shit. <laughs> I like that. Thanks. I like that. You must be into drama. No, no, no you just uh, like strong emotional uh, plays like that, I assume. Okay, you don't. You work in the arts. You look like. Oh, where do you work? Oh, okay. Have a nice day. Yeah. So, A, not committing, and then B, when you are committing or like being persistent, it's persistent with question after question after yeah. question. And I don't know who it was I, I told about this, but like the, the two deep questions, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Like, oh, tattoo. Oh, yeah, What's the deep emotional significance of that? Exactly. Yeah. Two seconds into the conversation. Yeah. Right? yeah. It's, like, it's like too serious, too much, too fast. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Hi. Hi. You have the most interesting sandals. Thank you. Like, I'm not even sure why they're interesting, but they just jumped out. Um, yeah. Cool. Have a good day. So, like, as another question. I realized when you said sandals that it was like off. So. It's fine. How many times have you essentially used the same opener? A lot. Like, uh, I'm just like going through the motions. You have the Excuse me. I don't mean to bother you, but you yeah, have the most interesting. Yeah. Excuse me, I don't mean to bother you, but you have the most interesting. Right? Yeah, I remember I, I was realizing that too, and like mm -hmm. I, I realized I had this like, internal dialogue that I was like getting bored by it, and I was saying the same thing. So when I realized like I, I, I did something kind of bad, kind of makes it spiral, spiral down too. Mm -hmm. kind of Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Your eyes are just the most lovely shade of blue. Yeah. <laughs> the funny thing about that is that like... <laughs> the funny thing about it is you started talking about her eyes when you were behind her and couldn't actually oh, yeah. see the eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, excuse me. You look super duper great. I love it. Oh, are you looking for direction somewhere? No, no, no. I, uh... I'm You're for someone. Oh, well, have a good day. Okay, so, so she's cute. Um, similar to him, to what I had him do, yeah. I want you to actually say what you think mm -hmm. on the open. I want you to actually come up with what you're thinking in the moment instead of yeah. going through the motions. Because you're using this, do you know what the definition of insanity is? Um, doing the same thing over and over again, expecting it to work. Basically, expecting a different result, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have twelve samples of that opener. Yeah. It hasn't really worked yet. Of course. So maybe we should try a different approach. Because <laughs> yeah. you, you literally are doing the same thing each yeah. set. All right. Sorry. Excuse me. I just noticed something. Your hair looks amazing, like right out of a Roman. So Mediterranean. I uh, like uh, randomly trying to make people's day better, so yeah, I know this must be like the most out of the blue thing that's ever happened to you so far today or this month, but okay, so I have two missions for you. Mission number one is you have to open with what's actually on your mind and what you're actually thinking, no going through the motions. And mission number two, and this is a mission for infield and out of field, okay? You're not allowed to justify yourself. Of course. Yeah. No just, story, no excuse me. Mm -hmm. it's just, hey, blah, 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 blah. No blah. apologies. I know this is really random. I know it's like the most amazing thing or the most weird thing this yeah. month. None of that. Yeah, okay. None of that. <laughs> right? Even you, 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 you managed in, in a weird way when you're complimenting them yeah. to turn the compliments into like as though it's your, your, your justification for being there yeah. and as though like the, by them doing it, they obligated themselves to like converse with you. Yeah, okay. You're like, hey, sorry, I hate to bother you. I really don't want to, but you just, you had this tattoo which made me have to bother you. So. Exactly, yeah, okay. <laughs> so tell me about this tattoo in a deep, meaningful way so that we can keep this bothering going as long as possible. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. That, that's a little bit mean the last part. But the point is you are, there's too much justifying, okay? Mm -hmm. Way, 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 way too much. So that needs to yeah. just cut it. Okay, again, I make no apologies for my desires as a man. Also, I make no apologies for my existence. Mm -hmm. I make no apologies for conversing. Mm 
I make no apologies for, I just make no apologies. Mm -hmm. I just don't apologize, all right? Now, if someone actually like gets offended, you can apologize, <laughs> okay? But don't apologize preemptively. Yeah. Don't apologize until there's actually something to apologize for. Yeah. Um, yeah. God. Oh, whoa, whoa. This place is super crowded. I don't go here much. Are there normally this many people here? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, have a good day. Excuse me. Oh, I'm so yeah. sorry for interrupting, but you had the most lovely blue shirt I've seen. And I really mean that because it has a perfect navy blue because it reminds me of uh, the sky and uh, yeah probably the most random thing I ever had said but yeah Thank you. you're welcome uh, i'm on my way to meet a friend so i'll uh, have a good day oh i'm sorry excuse me you must be like are you are you in a rap group because i swear i've seen this rap group where they look just like you, no? <laughs> See, actually, to be fair, at least that's better. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that, that, that's, at, that's at least unique and different yeah. and, and better. Like, her name's not, like, Aaliyah. I'm sorry for, like, no. interrupting, but I'm, like, I have no idea. No. no. Um, yeah, have a good day. Okay. All right. Um, in any case, I think I get the, I get the idea. Um, all right, so those are things. Number one, you need to commit and just go with what's on your mind. Yeah. Number two, no justifying yourself, mm -hmm. right? And number three, honestly, try and be a little less formal. Okay. You are very formal about the way you do your approaches. Yeah. Like it's very like, can I be proper and like, with this great you know, exposition talking around the facts for 30 seconds when I could have just said it in the first place, Yeah. right? Just get yeah. to the point. 